Logo Guy Rib here at 3699 Ranch Thursday morning, the 5th of September. And we're just having a look at the garden. I noticed my Angus cattle back there are just in the corner taking it easy under in the shade here before 11 in the morning. The Canadian red root barbs over growing around a standpipe there. And it's kind of rusty on the edges. There's plenty there to eat though. Or freeze and I found that I don't really use what I freeze so I'm kind of producing more than I can eat and just enjoying the harvest I've been enjoying tomatoes the um, sunflowers I never grew before I need to probably go in and harvest some of them I have vines from the pumpkins kind of taking over everything so I'm letting them having the uh, however they want to go there's small pumpkins on the Big Max pumpkin plants that I even pulled the um, pineapples out of there. Yanked the row of uh, marigolds that were beside the row of zinnas that I yanked. And two rows of peppers that I'm harvesting. And the last time I was here I thought it would be boring to show you guys. And I walked down through there and I pulled out this huge yellow pepper man. Four lobes on it. But these, I don't like this seed, and those guys in California, um, they leave their peppers in all winter. I didn't realize that. No wonder they... But in Ohio, I have, uh, you know, just a few months, and so the peppers for California aren't going to work in Ohio unless you grow them indoors for quite a while. Because um, they're leaving them in for years on end for the root system and everything. Um... But I did have some nice peppers. They're just single lobe. I've got my freezer full. These are turning more wings for me. Pepperoncini. Almost looks like a different kind of pepperoncini there. But the glass gem corn. I want to brag on my glass gem corn here in a bit. Take a look at the pumpkin. And these red peppers over here are a different variety of seed. And that's the kind of... I want to grow the pepper they sell in the supermarket, I think. The other California wonder seed I had, the peppers are small. But there's the pumpkin size for you. And they're, uh, you could call it white. Where's the one in here? And in here, there's that metal saguaro cactus. And there's two of them, like I said, you know. Got a pair there, man. And, and there's that metal cactus. I want to get up here and, and brag on this corn that I picked. There's some more corn on there. I'm lucky the stand made it. I hope to have more last year. We're harvesting apples. Got some delicious apples. I have a messy work area up here. And some more painting to do. The festivals are in full swing. I'm thinking about popcorn. I'm going up to Marion to enjoy the popcorn show for a minute. But currently the poinsettia has got yanked and into their pots and the three pineapples and you know those pineapples are I guess uh, on a good to brag you could say they're double the size they were when I planted them but they look like they just sat dormant don't they I cut them off the pineapple at the store and planted them and they just sat there and they're like those aren't growing so it's gonna be a long process but check out the corn guys beautiful ornamental glass gem this one has the classic popcorn look to it I have pinks all colors of the spectrum these I picked last week they're more drier just fun to, to pick these and look at the colors most beautiful corn in the world right there glass candy gem or something like that it was five dollars for the seed so i have plenty of seed for next year and i'm gonna be popping some popcorn and i hope to roast some peanuts and grow peanuts but yeah here's the marigolds a table full of marigolds here's these i actually ate a couple of these and and uh, i think a squirrel ate those but uh, these are for critter food the sunflowers and i'm gonna be in here harvesting these for a big row of those guys um, over here there's the zenith seed and the onion bags I picked a couple rotten onions out of the bags already here we are September 
it looks like I'm gonna be running out. I hopefully have enough to get me through Thanksgiving. But the garlic's got to go in the ground and peppers cut up and put in their baskets. But just so excited to brag about this candy gem corn or whatever it's called. I bought the seed off eBay. They shipped it from California and it cost me five bucks. And there's still more on on the crop out there. These are kind of a classic size of a they're small ears, whereas I have grown Indian corn before and they're just humongous ears, like five times as big as those. And just like almost 20 foot tall corn. But this is a a different animal. But there is some yellow, every color of the spectrum, and they should be like translucent, we're thinking. Here, and I think it'll change as the more they dry. See, this one's still green, actually. Uh, I made sure I got it before the coons did. Just uh, ecstatic about the garden 2019. Just such a beautiful year. And uh, awesome weather, and it's just getting started. Everything's full blast right now. Thanks for watching my videos, everyone. Bogard Rippy, your garden progress, September 5th. Enjoy your weekend.